Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Stephen Clark and friends are back again with a light-hearted look at Thailand's news and the surrounding areas. Let me see, what have we got today? A 31-year-old patio bar owner, a female, arrested for being naughty. And a very sexy Canadian monk monkeying around with women. On a serious note, Thailand has endured a human rights crisis ever since the military takeover. Also, car stealing on the Mekong River up on the Lao border. And taxis increase their fares. But first up, hot love involving a cucumber. Okay, moving right along. A Bangkok woman is hospitalized after she fell over a cucumber. Ended up, and down, ended up inside her fun bit. What's this? Oh. A 50-year-old Thai woman was recently sent to hospital complaining of a vaginal pain because she had had a cucumber stuck in her lady parts. Yeah. She told hospital staff she fell on the cucumber. Fell on the cucumber or fell in love with the cucumber? She said she fell down in her house and the cucumber just happened to um, be in a spot where she fell and simply uh, slipped inside her. It was just an accident. Ac accident or uh, insertion, I guess. Uh, it's been reported on Thai television with some very straight-faced reporters. Um, I don't know how they do it. The hospital staff didn't believe her story and uh, helped rescue the cucumber and relieved the uh, woman of her uh, apparently un unscheduled... Um, what do you call it? Um, pain. Yeah, pain will do. The woman is from Bangkok and her name has been uh, withheld and the hospital's name has been withheld. I don't know why. You know, it's just an accident. You can bet there will be a few unauthorised pictures and stories flying around the internet like you wouldn't believe over this story. Well, the, uh, the incident has actually gone worldwide at the moment. Um, I don't know, I, I can't see what's wrong with it. Um, lady falls over and cucumber goes up for a fun bit. Um, I don't know, it's, these things happen. We don't have any report on the condition of the cucumber, but I'm sure it's... Um, apparently it came out with a little lipstick mark all over it, so I don't, I don't know what happened there. And so anyway, ladies, be careful of how you handle your cucumbers. Patia, a 31-year-old female bar owner arrested on human trafficking and prostitution. Yes, a bar owner in Patia has been arrested on Saturday whilst on the run from police. The police have been trying to arrest her over allegations of prostitution and human trafficking. The Anti-Human Trafficking Division eventually caught her and arrested the 31-year-old female Patia bar owner, also known as Sudurat Um Lalabat or Nanchai. I mean, take your pick. Sudurat has had an arrest warrant out in her name for human seeking people or persons to work in a prostitution, engaging underage persons between the ages of 15 and 18 to work in the prostitution industry. Sudarat also had charges waiting for her after owning a bar that supported prostitution, including the sale of sexual services by persons over 15 years old but not exceeding 18 years old. In 2013, Sudarat and her foreign husband invested in a bar named Sad Bar, which was providing prostitution services. Police had set up a sting by offering the sale of persons under 18 years old, but Surat evaded capture and continued hiding in the region. Surat was eventually arrested in a Shonbury restaurant and delivered to the Patia police for formal charging. Johnny so I am reporting a story that uh, really didn't come onto the radar, but it had a little bit of a funny twist to it. It's about the, the Canadian monk, Pra Julian. Uh, he was very popular amongst the locals in the Mae Hong Song and helped building houses and helping the poor and helping himself. <laughs> well, he left the monkhood. He was seeking forgiveness for violating the Dai Hammam principles by having sexual relations with women, some Thai women and a Western woman. So he was disrobed. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't a big problem with having these 
forbidden relationships. He was used to being disrobed. Let's say he'd done it more privately. But that in itself is just a, a normal story. But last week, or the end of last week, he uh, continued working as a lay in the, the same areas. But he got a visit from the Thai immigration, from the Mae Hong Song office. And guess what? Yes, the TM30, the dreaded TM30. And he was advised that he had to report for the change in status and his address. Well, maybe Pra Julian thought that it really wasn't his uh, duty to doing the reports as uh, he had a higher authority that was going to take care of it. Very interesting. The very, very, very interesting. The TM30 gets yet another. Okay, grab your partner and let's do the TM30 dance. Let's go. Yes. Come on, girl. Once again, the TM30 dance. Yay. Grab you yourself a TM30 ball. TM30 ball. Yes, the TM30 form. One of the many attractions of Thailand. If you sleep somewhere else, you must fill in this form with full details. Yes, full details of every move you make. Thailand has endured a human rights Crisis for years after the 2014 coup, the military Georgia under Prime Minister Prayat has banned political activities, public assembly, enforced media censorship and randomly arrested dissidents and detained civilians in military facilities. Authorities have used less majest, insulting the monarchy, sedition and computer crimes charges to suppress free speech. In the Thailand's south border province, rights abuse persists in the conflicts between separatist groups and the government. Over 3 million migrant workers face systematic abuse and exploitation, including in the fishing industry, despite government promises of reform. Refugees and asylum seekers are subject to arrest and deportation. More on this later. Hello, Shane Cashman here from Bungan, North East Thailand. If you ever wake up to find your car's missing, there's a good chance it's on a little wooden boat heading to Laos. Just one hour down the road from Bungan, in the middle of nowhere, was somebody trying to steal two cars from Thailand. Unlucky for them, they were caught just in the nick of time. The two cars were from down south of Thailand, one was from Song Ka and one was from Trung, right on the Thai-Malaysia border. You've got to give them some points for loading them two cars on a little wooden boat with that rocking them overboard. Okay, that's it from the Mekong River. Thanks for listening. Yeah, totally agree with you there, Johnny. Uh, here's Johnny Siam on the latest development with the Thailand taxis. Transport Minister Suk Sai Yen Chid Cobb met with four Bangkok taxi groups and officials of the Land Transport Department. Approval was given for a fair increase in line with the increase of fuel costs, petrol, diesel and gas. He also added that most times taxis are stuck in traffic so no real distance is being added to the fare whilst not moving forward. But below six kilometres per hour the fare will increase one baht per minute. Also one day after this announcement the other announcement was of a new QR system for reporting taxi drivers uh, for whatever reason. Now, let's hope this system works better than the last one, because it didn't work. So what did you guys think of this video? There's some very interesting subjects in there. It'd be great to get a discussion going in the comments below. And don't forget every Saturday and Sunday night, 5pm Thai time, Talk Back Thailand. Anyhow, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon.